Musius College Colombo 7. Founded in 1891, owes much of its success today to its founding principles. Ms. Mari Musius Higgins, the principal founder, along with Mr. Peter Diabru, the first manager, as well as Mr. Henry Steele Alcott and Ms. Annie Besant, for their tireless and generous efforts that has given way to a school that started with humble beginnings, with just 12 students in a mud hut with one teacher, is now a school that more than 6,500 girls in Sri Lanka call their second home. A school with such humble beginnings today has evolved into one of the country's most dynamic, progressive and forward-thinking academic institutions, achieving the distinction of being the premier Buddhist girls' school in Sri Lanka. The school motto, Padi Pankavesata, translates to follow the light, and Musius College has certainly been the guiding light to tens and thousands of Buddhist girls here in Sri Lanka by helping them to become strong and independent women that take on challenges of the world. The school has also taken great pride in inculcating good discipline and fostering Buddhist traditions, along with developing a child's sensitivity to work towards the reawakening of national unity, goodwill and peace. Musius College Colombo 7 is undoubtedly one of the leading educational institutions not only here in Sri Lanka but also in the region as well. So Musius College is undoubtedly a school that has a very rich history. So what better way to know about this beautiful history that started off with a humble beginning of 12 students in a mud hut with our founder Ms. Mari Musius Higgins. So what better way to actually know about this history than from the present principal of Musius College, Mrs. Nelum Senadira herself. Madam, would you mind taking us back down memory lane into what Musius College was and what it has become today? Right, as, as you rightly said, it started with Mrs. Mari Musius Higgins, who was a German lady who had migrated to the USA and uh, had just happened to read, I mean, it's a chance in a million, uh, and she had happened to read this newspaper called The Path, and uh, there was this advertisement for a principal in Ceylon. Uh, and uh, at that time, she was widowed, and she thought, yes, I will do it, I will go. And it had taken her six months to come by ship to Sri Lanka, to Ceylon at that time. And uh, she uh, actually, on arrival, she went to another school called Sangamitta, that's I think in Borella. And then later she did uh, the, a few philanthropists like uh, uh, Peter Diabru, uh, uh, who donated this land, uh, a part of it, and uh, uh, Colonel Henry Steele Olcott, who was uh, who was the individual responsible for that advertisement, which well, came in the path, and people like Ms. Annie Besant, who also joined them to begin this school. And this school did start with only twelve students and in a small mud hut. So from that beginning of 12 girls, today Musius College is the second home, we would like to say, for more than 6,500 students. So the growth has been exponential over the 129 years and next year Musius College will be celebrating their 130th birthday as well. So madam, what makes it so special to be a Museite? Because for most of us, it's more than a title. It's a beautiful experience here at this school, madam. How has it been for you, you yourself being a Museite and now the leading lady of the school? I think being a Museite, it's a difficult to say. It's a, it's a wholesome thing. It's, it's an all-round development that is given in school. It's a total development. Uh, Everything we learned, we learned here, from the nursery upwards, even how to stand, how to walk. I, I remember one of the principals pushing me, you know, 
stand tall, stand tall, you know. So I, I've never forgotten that. Uh, so I now tell the children, I now tell the children, stand tall, just pull your tummy, and stand tall. Uh, so these are little things that go down, but then not only uh, it's the personality and the wholesomeness of the education that is given here and coupled with the discipline. The discipline is not enforced, but it's something that, I mean, we do understand children are children, they, are, they, they tend to be naughty, but that naughtiness and the playfulness we, uh, we need to not let it be negative but add it to as a positiveness towards uh, the child's development and that's how we have acquired uh, all this I think. Being a leading school here in Sri Lanka obviously the demand to get into this privileged school is at an absolute high these days. Um, so madam could you tell us how is it what is the criteria rather to uh, get chosen to be a museite for a lot of the aspiring parents who might be very curious and interested in uh, possibly sending their daughter to this great school? That's a tough question because there is no criterion. The criterion, uh, well, the past pupils most certainly have the advantage if they have served the school, they would be able to earn some a few points and they would start there. There is a point system. Uh, the, the whole application is online uh, from lower nursery, upper nursery through to grade one. And um, we'll we interview each parent and the child. The child's, mostly the child's, child's readiness is what would be uh, getting her in. It is getting the child in. So it's kind of we, we see about, we, we can only give admission to about 10% of the total applications. We have thousands of applications, so it's a tough thing. Also, Mrs. Senadira, there might be a lot of students who are yet to enter Musius College, but they've gotten the opportunity, they've gotten through their admission. So if you could maybe tell us what is it to have the whole Museite experience? What does it mean to enter into, these, uh, into this premise and to live maybe uh, 13 years of your school life here at Musius College? What is that experience like, madam? It's the Sri Lankanness that we would like to impart. It's the values of the founder, the, the values of that the, our founder, Mrs. Higgins, intended to impart. And that is for the young ladies of, Sri, of Ceylon then, to be the best women in the country and the world. No matter where we are now. A school with a rich history of nearly 130 years, Musius College Colombo 7 takes great pride in ensuring that its students get much more than just textbook education. Which is why the school has been occupied these days with ensuring that refurbishment and renovation work at the school will be completed in time when students come back to school after months of staying at home because of COVID-19. So Mrs. Senadira, because of this COVID-19 pandemic, I feel like students have been left out the most. But here at Musius College, you all have sort of taken up measures to ensure that children are not left out with their studies, with this e-learning system. Could you maybe tell us how this e-learning system really worked here at Musius College? Well, uh, we had introduced the LMS, the Learner Management System, right? because people were moving into technology. Yes. Uh, so we were sending them assignments and you know, it was a very, very minimal thing. And then uh, it's very difficult to change the attitude of the mindset Absolutely. of the teachers. And this, we, we have a variety of ages among us to teachers and it's yes. 348. So it's it's a lot of big number, large number as well. Yes. But, uh, it's just that we were actually taken unawares. But when this came on the 13th, uh, I uh, had a staff meeting because 
I, we have a training group that's Head Start and uh, we, I had contacted them and I said now we have to get into the e-learning because we had given one session, one practice session, session for all the teachers but it was very difficult to get them to, all to attend Right. but uh, I said you come for the staff meeting right so a server was also there because it was, uh, it was a day of uh, because uncertainty and we had planned to have things, events, yes. and we will have to cancel. So uh, at that point I told them there is no other option. Mm -hmm. No one is, no one can say no, everybody has to be yes, right. it has to be yes. So from tomorrow we start training and it start, started training and we went on training then. We went on training, in fact even on the 13th of April, we were the right. people in that was also a day of training. How has the response been for this? This is it obviously is, a new system yes, for the yes. students and the teachers yes. to sort of incorporate this form of education. Yes, it was totally, totally new to like about 95%. Right. Luckily, by that time, we had trained 15 master teachers okay. and the IT teachers. So we had about 30 teachers who were able to hold hands of the others right. so to say right so it was like a teamwork yes it was, for it was. both parts yes so yes. we put them in the team so like we put okay put some you know a group of teachers with one or two of them and they they said don't so at that meeting and then carry, carrying on because they were saying we don't have the equipment we have don't have the devices i don't know how to do it some were crying believe me someone yes. even sent in her resignation so uh, so we had to, we had to, you know, gently say no. It's not a big deal. It's possible. It's to do. possible. Yeah. So what we did was we had three in a team to begin with. To begin with, we started slow. Right. We we had one hour uh, with uh, shared by three teachers. Right. Right. So that way they, you know, when sharing device, not sharing devices, but sharing the technology they were able to understand yes i can and believe me that teacher who gave the resignation was the first thing in the night or the afternoon who called me and said thank you for pushing me into it so fantastic <laughs> yes also mrs senadira i feel like your school life is much more than the six hours you spend inside yes. a classroom yes. it's an experience yes. that you sort of treasure for the yes. rest of your life and Absolutely. it's sort of like the pinnacle of like your life yes. li lifetime rather. my yes, yes. yes. <laughs> well I, by about end of april i was you know kind of so happy that i was able to achieve this where I, the entire school by that time from grade 1 to 13 all the classes were sitting down for e-learning at the regular time of course different times but in the mornings but some of the 13s were starting early morning and late in the evening depends so uh, I was very happy and satisfied and so glad we were able to do it for the children it is for the children and also, what's interesting is that uh, Musius College has not only focused their attention on e-learning, at the same time, they have managed to maintain their school premises to pristine levels, actually. So I think that also is something really wonderful. And yeah. I think Musius College will be leading by example, not only to schools, but also to institutions across the country on how you must maintain and make premises beautiful. So especially children, feel Feel the need to come back to school especially after two months of staying at home being with family and what do you think about that they, they, I mean it's, a, it's for the, the, the child needs to see a difference a better be, a betterment yes. of the environment see something now when they see flowers now see that narang tree we planted just two three months back and now it's already in fruit so uh, kind of you know to be amazed and to want to come to school because now after four, probably four months they may not they may be having their comfort zone at home yes right so we need to get them back to school we need to get them back to school yes. so it's just rather difficult last year with the bombing i was we started with eight children and then we had to gradually go on so we don't want to do that we want them to come back uh, and they will come i know because uh, uh, we, it's just that we may have to persuade the parents uh, to show them that our school is safe 
So we are going ahead with all the help, the, uh, the instructions, guidance that have been given. And the school will be definitely a safe place for them to return to. Also, yes. Mrs. Senna, what is sort of the secret of this changing of attitude of students to sort of love their school premises, to sort of maintain it at this level? Because we know not every premise in Sri Lanka is maintained at this sort of level. So how did you manage that <laughs> to change the attitude of so many? I think many? it started uh, on the day after the, the, the Muthuraja Villa uh, garbage landfill toppled. Right. right? I had a staff, uh, sorry, staff assembly that day, and it was a primary assembly. And uh, I just asked them what happened. So then they, you know, the little ones talk. So then I said, can how can we help? Who brings now? See, I had to tell them we used to bring, we we used to put 150 garbage bags away with 6,500 right. students, uh, but. We brought it down to 10 the very next day right. by just talking to the children and showed them look like this. So who has been doing that? So then a little one said, we, we, we. Right. So how can we, who can stop it? We, we, we. Right. That's, That's it. So then how can we do it? Take the, take the garbage home. So uh, having said that, we of course talk to the parents at parents meetings and all. Don't send paper, send boxes. Even the teachers for their lunch, they used to keep the box in the canteen. Right. Uh, so, you know, not we reduce the number of lunch packets and lunch sheets. So it went also, school is a zero garbage place. Now we don't have any dustbins. So they were, they were very, very careful about the environment, about the cleanliness, if there is something on the ground I would pick up, so would they. Right. So, by example, I think. <laughs> so, there you have it. A school has shown how it needs to be done, how an attitudinal shift in the mindset of one person can sort of have a ripple effect on the whole school. And if this school can do it, and if this school can remain the same even during a pandemic, imagine the endless possibilities for this country if they also follow the same footsteps. No man The COVID-19 pandemic, which was experienced in the country, undoubtedly meant that students were deprived of the opportunity to come to school due to health concerns. However, Musius College took the initiative to inculcate timely and modern approaches to distance learning, such as smart learning and e-learning. Through these modern approaches, students of all ages were ensured that they did not fall behind on their studies and education, even though they were physically not at school. Thus, the positive attitude of the teachers, along with the willingness of students, coupled together with the use of modern technology, Musius College sets a great example on how we could bounce back from difficult times and challenges by ensuring that children's education is not compromised even during this time period. <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, this is an empty classroom but uh, in Muses College what we are doing, we are doing e-learning which means uh, connecting to internet, we are giving our knowledge to the students. As you know in this pandemic situation, since April 20th we started our e-learning process as the same as school timetable, we are doing from primary to A-level classes. We are doing 7.30 to 12 ongoing sessions, um, allocating some time periods for the subjects. As well as uh, primary to A-level classes, we are doing this, same as in normal school timetable. We are trying to get the holistic approach in a class. Even though we cannot see the students properly, but we are getting their ideas and the question. We are after asking questions. They are giving the uh, the answers and they are giving the feedback of the lesson. And I feel like they are really enjoying the uh, modern technology, using modern technology, and getting the uh, gaining the knowledge through it. 
For example, I'm teaching in uh, uh, British Curriculum Muses College. As a Sinhala teacher, every uh, uh, after finishing my lesson, I'm asking, what is uh, your opinion today's lesson? Then they are giving uh, good positive feedbacks for us, which means they're really enjoying our lessons, as well as we are showing some video clips, even though uh, uh, according to our lessons, so really enjoyed that. And they're doing some uh, in mathematically also, math uh, subjects also they're doing uh, so many uh, mathematical components, so it is uh, really beneficial for them. As well as the teacher's perspectives, what I believe uh, normally every teacher uh, preparing for a lesson before delivering it. So that's what we are doing in e-learning as well. Uh, for me, example, it's quite challenging. Um, earlier we had some so many uh, lessons before starting these e-learning lessons. We had some lessons and how to uh, create a group and how to get uh, the students to our uh, under our control and how we are taking the ideas and uh, answers. Uh, as a teacher, a Sinhala teacher, what I believe, I was a bit struggling how to give my idea, the grammar component to the students through e-learning. Um, normally the children were like uh, not quite happy with the grammar parts but uh, I'll try my best to give them a very interesting way. It is very convenient for me giving the ideas like writing Sinhala letters in a proper way and they have some kind of an idea okay this is the correct manner we have to write the letters which is uh, quite a plus point for me. Um, so Muses College is uh, really doing a great job. The teachers are really doing their, uh, the fullest support and they're going, uh, giving all of these to the students' benefits. So I hope that this e-learning procedure, we can do that easily. Now we are, get used to these uh, computers, laptops and other devices as well, giving the students the uh, subject matters in a convenient way. The newly opened Buddhist statue bears testament that Musius College takes great pride in instilling the best of Buddhist values and virtues to their students as a school that has educated generations of young girls for over a decade. Musius College has educated and paved the way for tens of thousands of students to take on the challenges of the world while keeping the true spirit of a Sri Lankan with the best of values and virtues at heart at all times. First of all, I would like to call ourselves privileged as Museites. Um, I stand here today as the head prefect of Museus College, not just because of the service I have rendered to our school, but because of the immense services and the contributions made by school for the development of us as students. So in Muses College, it is not, we are, you are never alone. You can work as a team because you have teachers, you have friends, you have colleagues. And as prefects, we would like to say that we work in a bundle of, uh, we work like a bundle of sticks and we are strong together. So this is my deputy head prefect, Benduri Punchiheva. Um, so our school, we asked for this prefectship not uh, simply because we wanted it, but to show, our, show Mother Musius how appreciative we are and grateful we are towards all the services she has rendered to us. And Mother Musius did not falter in her duty. Once again, during this crucial time period, she made sure that all Musiites do not falter in their educational activities. In this crucial time period, through the e-learning system, our teachers, under the leadership of the Muses College administration, we never missed our school activities because our teachers made sure that we continue our studies. They sent us notes, they sent us quizzes, and it was not, uh, it was, um, although there was physical and technological barriers, we were able to maintain our studies throughout this time also. Many things uh, were carried out, extracurricular activities were carried out through the learning management system to make sure that our education wasn't simply just books and notes. We were all enthralled because it was very engaging and we had a fun time learning even through a screen. So finally to conclude, we would like to say that we are really, really proud to be a Museite because of all those valuable attitudes inculcated um, in all the Museites through education, through sports, as well as other extracurricular activities and as well as how to behave in the society as 
um, good citizens. As a school that firmly believes in giving their children much more than standard textbook education, Musius College offers a wide range of activities, extracurriculars and sports for students to engage in. The newly constructed school building comprises of a state-of-the-art auditorium that is one of the largest school auditoriums in Sri Lanka as well as South Asia. This building also comprises a fully furbished and equipped squash courts, a gymnasium and a swimming pool. That's not all. Musius College also takes great care of the health and well-being of its students. And that is why the school comprises of a fully functioning and equipped sick room with a trained nurse along with a daycare facility which can house up to 300 students with a range of facilities including well-structured and organized dorms and a mess along with a library and many other activities. Students that enter through these gates are undoubtedly given the best of services and facilities to ensure that their school life is nothing short of the best. I'm actually a very proud father of three museums, so that's something that I need to highlight. I, I should say like Museus College is, is going beyond a traditional school, having a bigger objective, so that's how I, I see this school. From the chairman to the principal to the teachers and, and prefects and everybody who has a responsibility in this organization has, they have understood the reason for being museums, a lot of extracurricular activities happening, and they they are teaching, say I don't know, I know at least seven eight foreign languages, and they have a lot of societies and unions and various other things that students can go and engage with. They are focusing on scouting and various other different kind of activities. I know they are very good in their athletics and other sports as well. So it's a, it's a mix of activities. During last 20 years, this organization or this school has grown from 600 to 6,000 students or more. So these, is, these are significant achievements. One thing that I believe, the chairman and the management board and the principal and they are very well guiding the rest of the people in this organization. So that's why you can see a nice buildings, very nice uh, environment. Yeah, uh, I mean, if I talk about uh, welfare and looking after the students, uh, I think there are enough uh, examples that I can quote because there are a lot of uh, Friends of mine sending their kids to Museus College, so we are sharing the day-to-day -day experience when we have chit-chat with, with, the, with the society. So, I mean, I have enough experience about how this place, this place is looking after kids. It's, it's very important. I mean, uh, what I want to highlight is like Museus is, is their family, all these girls. It's not, I mean, they have two families, one at home, one at uh, Columbus Seven, uh, uh, Rosmith Place or Barnes Place. So they, they know. I mean, they how they basically be part of the family at home. I mean, they are equally be part of the family at Columbus Seven Museums College as well. So this is very important. I don't think uh, the creation of this bond is itself uh, something that we all should appreciate. One of my girls met with an accident, and it was not. A simple one it became a critical uh, situation that she had to fight with her life itself from chairman to the principal all the teachers and all 6500 students in this school I mean they supported me my family and and the little girl I can very well remember I mean that's that went from Bodhi Puja to releasing birds and having uh, a Bodhi Puja at Kalutara Bodhiya by Chairman himself. 
and I knew like they basically brought all the children to uh, the Buddha statue in Museus College and they all prayed for her one day. I mean, can somebody expect this kind of things from a school? It's, I didn't and I didn't, I, I didn't believe at that time how these things happen. So I think that's what we expect. I mean, that's the school that we all are looking for. I mean, school is not for just to get some knowledge, but to learn how to live and at the same time how, I mean, to learn how we should be empathetic. Okay, I think uh, the leadership is very important. So what, what he is adding to this organization is not actually the simple managing and operating the institute, but to give the real objective of making this organization to a better one. Um, I have a message for the, for the girls, my, my girls, as well as my parents. We have made the school safe. The school is a safe place for you. Uh, we have made all the arrangements to welcome you back. The school is looking beautiful and clean. The school is, uh, has been looked after by the security officers and uh, has been maintained. So it will be a beautiful place to come back to and we are waiting to welcome you. And we, have, we will have all the safety measures uh, according to the guidelines issued by the health ministry and the education ministry. And the parents need not fear to send the children and we welcome you to, uh, we, I would uh, ask you to send your daughters back to school when we reopen.